Hello friends. In energy conservation and audit, we know that 70% of load or a power consumption has been done through the motors in the industry. So eventually we need to save the energy or we need to find out the ways how we can conserve the energy in electrical motors. Related with that, today's topic is ideal or redundant running of motor. So let's start. Ideal or redundant running leads mainly the following things but before that you have to understand what is ideal or redundant running basically ideal or redundant running that means the motor run without any load and consuming the power that can raise some issues in our motor loss of energy around 12 to 16 percent of energy has been lost because of the motor running in ideal condition also unnecessary running definitely create heat and it will uh, cause some wearing in bearings maybe damage the bearings third thing is we know that uh, motor is a pure inductive load so definitely it will run on lagging power factor and if we will continuously keep it in operation without any use it will produce lot of reactive power and it will cause the losses not for the company but also it will cause the line losses which are definitely unnecessary line losses then reduction in overall system energy efficiency over the period of time so these are the reasons why we need energy conservation in electrical motors and these four reasons are because of ideal or redundant running of motor so let's see how we can solve it avoiding long period of such operation of motor is needed maintain a higher energy efficiency operation so what can we do first thing we can do that switching off motors during such an extended period of operation we know that uh, for next few hours uh, this motor is not going to be under uh, any load so it must have to directly turn off second thing we can do just keep the motor running if it is not possible to turn it off then run the motor with low voltage and approximately its normal speed. We know the concept of running the motor in star at a starting and delta in running condition of star delta starter. So same principle we can apply here for limiting the starting current we give supply in star connection so that will reduce the voltage and when the motor required full current for running with full load that time we transfer the hold from star to delta so same thing we can do here to reduce the voltage but not just with star delta starter we can achieve that with various different voltage reduction or voltage modification devices third thing is if the redundant running must have to keep it running because of some safety reason then we can keep it running but otherwise turn off it regularly whenever it is running in redundant condition it will definitely save lot of electricity with these three things we can achieve the energy conservation in ideal and redundant running losses if you have any doubt you can ask me in comment box